Activating magnetic souls. Captain Solano should be here momentarily. You'll have to forgive me, I don't know much about Kobliads. But my understanding is you need a steady supply of Doridium to keep your cell structure stabilized, or bad things start to happen. And we have plenty of Doridium in sickbay, so there's no risk of running out. Thank you. Feel free to make yourself at home. And help yourself to whatever you like from the replicator. He's still got a thing for trains. The warp engines of their day, apparently. We'll be out there soon. Going where no one has gone before. The first mineral Captain Solano ever discovered. Always was the nostalgic type. Just a sip of something. Tea. That's lovely. Jara Rydek. <laughs> Last time I saw you, it was graduation from the Academy. You'd already secured one of the most prestigious assignments possible. And you were burning with enough ambition to fuel seven trips around the Necrot Expanse. It's good to see you again, Captain. I could not be happier to have you on the Resolute. My only regret is that we couldn't provide you with a warmer welcome. The arrival of a first officer to her new ship deserves a bit of fanfare. I have to admit, I was expecting something bigger. At least a marching band, or a parade. <laughs> we'll see if we can't make up for it somehow. As I'm sure you've heard, we've had a rough go of it these last six months. The ship suffered some damage. But not nearly as much as the crew. I heard that you had an equipment malfunction. Is that what they're calling it? No, that's... that's just someone being generous. If anything, it was a leadership malfunction. We were on the verge of a major scientific breakthrough. A quantum leap forward in warp core technology. 10,000 teradynes per second. The ability to travel at a sustained rate of speed longer and faster than we ever dreamed. What would have been the crowning achievement of my career? Right there, within our grasp. 
<sighs> Till it all went so horribly wrong. We pushed her too hard, and a warp core malfunction overloaded the system, creating a pressure gradient way beyond what the ship can handle. <sighs> it was heartbreaking. We lost some of our best people. As captain, I have to take full responsibility. It was my decision to make. And I have to live with the consequences. We all know the risks when we sign up. There are no guarantees. As much as we tell ourselves otherwise. True. But as captain, my job is to mitigate and manage the risks as much as possible. And that's where I failed. In my defense, I will say... I might have avoided the whole ordeal if my senior staff had been willing to trust me. There was a lot of pushback from my former XO. And I, I think that cost me his confidence. I don't want you to pull any punches. Certainly not on my account. But once we decide on a course of action, I need everyone to fully commit to the mission. Anything short of that just won't work. And that's when things start to go sideways. Whether I agree or disagree, I can promise that I'll be honest to a fault. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But at the end of the day, it has to be my call. Look, I'll be blunt. We can't afford another mistake. Or at least, I can't. I feel like my career is hanging in the balance here. We need a win. Something to restore the crew's confidence. I understand. On a more positive note, Starfleet has tasked us with what they're calling a mission of the highest priority. Escorting a senior diplomat to Hotari space. Two previously peaceful and otherwise non-aggressive civilizations now find themselves on the brink of all-out war. So it's a peacekeeping mission. I see it as a golden opportunity to not only prove what the Resolute and her crew are truly capable of, but also a mission for which we're uniquely qualified. This ionic storm. Our long-range sensors suggest it's several orders of magnitude stronger than anything on record. A total anomaly like nothing we've seen before. And you'll never guess where it leads. Hatari. Exactly. Very nearly in the precise location where we're headed. Where I imagine the interference will be exponentially greater. But are we prepared to embark on the mission? As much as I'd like to think that's true, I have my doubts. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I expect we'll have some rough sledding when we arrive, so I need you to prepare the crew for the worst. There's just one more thing I want to clarify up front. The metric that, for me, will be the ultimate measure of your success. What is it? If, after serving as my first officer, you don't one day find yourself with a ship of your own, then I will consider it my personal failure. When that might happen is entirely up to you. It's been a dream of mine since before I can remember. So I would be honored to become a captain someday. As long as you're willing to do the work, you have my promise. I'll do everything in my power to see that it happens. Thank you. Come. Let me introduce you to the crew. Everyone, if I could have your attention for a moment. I'd like to introduce Commander Jara Rydek, our new first officer. Some quick introductions. This is Lieutenant Handar, our helmsman, one of the best in the business. One of? Well, what he lacks in humility, he more than makes up for in ability. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Likewise. Next, we have Commander Westbrook our chief science officer. I've come to rely on his expert counsel on a regular basis. Pleasure. Commander Rydek, it is such an honor to meet you. This is our tactical officer, Lieutenant Bedrosian. 
who's been looking forward to meeting you for about as long as I can remember. I've been following your career for quite some time. And I look forward to learning as much as I can from you. You've heard of me? Well, I have to admit, one of the reasons I've followed your career is because you're part Kobliad. Because of what you've overcome. Starfleet stands up for people who can't defend themselves. And you were one of those people once. But since then, you've done so much to protect others who need it. I really admire that. So, you've been something of an inspiration to me. I don't know what to say. That's incredibly flattering, thank you. I hope someday I can follow in your footsteps. I'm sure you will. And then, of course, you've already met Commander Ermont. Please, do everything you can to make Commander Rydek feel at home here. I'll be on the Starbase. I have an urgent meeting with the Starbase Commander to get our authorization to get underway. If they drag their feet any longer, we won't make our rendezvous. The bridge is yours. So many decks. Full of crew that are now my responsibility. The Helm. The Resolute is a refitted Centaur class, meaning it's capable of quick maneuvers. Can't wait to see what she can do. Impressive range of view. Communications keeps us in contact internally and with other vessels. Tactical hollow dais, just like they've got on the Excelsior. The first officer's seat. My seat. Right now, though, I need to fill in for Captain Solano. Commander, Chief Engineer Chovak needs to lower the structural integrity field. He sent a crew out to recalibrate the emitters in response to the danger posed by the storm. We just need your go-ahead. Mission granted. Lowering structural integrity field, now. Entering maintenance mode. Condition blue. 